It was around 15 months ago when the first 5G smartphone was launched in India. There was a lot of noise and buzz around it. But 5G technology is yet to arrive. A lot of you have been asking us question around 5G as in when is it coming or whether to buy a 5G smartphone or not. I remember in one of the Q&A sessions, a lot of you asked me questions related uh, to the same topic, which is 5G. To which I said, do let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do a separate video on 5G in India. Most of you said yes, so here I am. See, the 5G network is going to arrive soon and transform the internet. No, not like that. But the 5G network is going to be fast, will largely operate on cloud and will have 100 times better capacity than the 4G network. Hi, you're watching India Today Tech. I am Pavni Jain and in this video, I will explain everything about 5G and its application in India. Now, before I actually get into the video and talk about 5G, why don't you just hit the subscribe button, subscribe to India Today Tech YouTube channel and also press the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you do not miss out on the videos that we upload. Please, it is about the time when we are about to reach the 1 lakh subscriber mark. So just go and hit the subscribe button and help us reach there as soon as possible. Now let's get started. Five G smartphones have been around for a while. The problem is with the telecom operators. Yes, two prominent telecom uh, operators, Jio and Airtel, came up with big promises last year. Jio announced that it will bring five G to India in the second half of 2021, and then there was Airtel, which announced in the last week of January this year that it had become the first telecom operator to successfully demonstrate the live 5G service using its commercial network in Hyderabad. Airtel did this over its existing liberalized spectrum in the 1800 MHz band through the NSA, which is non-standalone network technology. The company also stated that the full impact of the 5G experience will be available to customers when adequate spectrum is available and government approvals received. Now the question is, when is it actually happening? In the first week of May, the Department of Telecommunications in India granted approval for service providers to start 5G trials in the country. The government approved Bharti Airtel, Vodafone Idea, Reliance Geo and MTNL as providers, provided that they use kits from Ericsson Samsung, Nokia, and C. Dot. Hey, gossip! Remember, when Airtel started its 5G network in Hyderabad, it was in partnership with Ericsson. Whereas, Reliance Geo will trial its own 5G equipment. The approved trials will continue for six months. This includes two months for procurement and setting up of the equipment. Yes, we do have 5G network in India, which is at its initial stage, but users will be unable to use its true potential. And here's why. 5G consists of multiple bands that are spread across different frequencies spectrum. These are majorly divided into low band, mid band and high band. Low band and mid band are generally under 6 GHz frequencies and cover longer distances with slower speeds. Whereas high band frequencies are generally greater than 24 GHz and do not cover longer distances. But these frequencies definitely have faster speeds and the potential to transform the internet. Mm, no, I am not going to snap my fingers. Now the phones that we have in India right now with 5G network actually support very limited number of 5G bands which are under 6 GHz. For example, OnePlus 9 series or iPhone 12 series phones do support high band frequencies and are genuinely future ready devices but their versions launched in India come with limited support. So does this mean that Indian users have to wait longer to use the full potential of 5G internet? That is correct. Since the challenge with the high frequency signal is the coverage, it cannot travel much longer and is generally interrupted by uh, walls, buildings and even trees. Service providers will need to install multiple smart towers. 
This increases the cost of building the 5G infrastructure in the country. The new network also comes with security challenges, which means service providers will need to protect their network at a massive scale from multiple cyber threats. This is actually becoming a cause of concern for regulators, policy makers and service providers worldwide. So the moral of the story is that 5G network in India is at its initial stage. It will take a lot of time for its rollout and for Indian users to use its uh, full potential. Plus, the government of India says that uh, the 4G network should be here for another 5 to 6 years so users can use it without any trouble. This was all for today's video. If you like it, do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, pets, dogs, preferably with those who understand the video language. Do not forget to subscribe to India Today Tech YouTube channel, hit the like button, share, comment uh, and uh, press the bell icon as well so that you do not miss out on the content. I'll see you in another video. Thank you for watching.